Call to order. This is the 22nd meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council. Welcome, everybody. We have no quote of the evening this, this evening, so we will go right into roll call. Okay. Belt? Here. Boren? Here. Carlson? Here. Decker? Excused. Hammond? Here. Hammond? Excused. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Matichek? Here. Raisler? Here. Samson? Excused. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. And Percy? Here. 12 present. We have a quorum. Now if we can all join Alderman Carlson in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Daryl. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the uh, last meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes under discussion. If there's no discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public forum? <clears throat> uh, yes. This evening, for people with public forum, we just want to remind you we're in the election cycle, so we can't have any campaigning up at the podium. All right, this evening I have Dulcie Johnson. And Dulcie, can I have your home address, please? 1306 North 3rd Street, Sheboygan. <clears throat> you will have five minutes. Thank you. Mayor Ryan, City Clerk Richards, City Attorney McLean, Aldermen and Citizens. 20 years ago, the issue of building an $11.5 million marina was being discussed here in Sheboygan. It was pitched as a development that grew up, would grow the downtown and bring hundreds of new people to Sheboygan. We were told that someone would pay the city a million dollars to operate the marina and that in a short time, it would be necessary to build more slips to accommodate the demand. What happened? One nautical themed business did open on 8th Street but closed after a couple years. The city has always paid Skipper Bud to operate the marina. The 281 original slips have never all been leased and so the additional slips have never been built. The downtown did not grow and the facility has cost the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars which continues to this day. <clears throat> Some years later, the South Pier was established, and Blue Harbor, with its water park, was touted as the project that would bring hundreds of new people to Sheboygan and revitalize the downtown. Taxpayers spent $20 million for infrastructure and a conference center and restaurant. Investors eagerly bought the condos to rent out to all those families coming to enjoy the water park. What happened? Blue Harbor struggled to survive and was recently sold for a fraction of its original assessed value. The Redevelopment Authority struggles to develop the land along the river. The investors who bought the condos struggle to sell their buildings for thousands less than what they paid for them, and the downtown has not been revitalized. But now Mayor Ryan is touting a casino which he says will be a game changer for the city. I have no objections to casinos per se, but the remarks of one of the speakers at the last public forum got my attention. Reverend Schaffenberg relocated to Sheboygan about three months ago from Mississippi. He said that had he known about the proposed casino, he may not have moved here. Evidently, he lived in a place that had a casino. He talked about the increased socioeconomic needs that arise in communities that have casinos and the strain it puts on various agencies to help some folks who frequent casinos and how discretionary income goes to the casinos. Of course, people from Sheboygan travel to casinos in Milwaukee and Green Bay, and those who want to spend their time and money in that manner will do so. But for those who are addicted to gaming, having a facility at South Pier would only make it easier to waste away their financial resources to the point of where they may not be able to take care of their basic needs. It seems that those who can least afford it are often the most vulnerable. Local businessmen question whether people would spend money on surrounding businesses or just at the casino and wonder about the resulting impact on existing businesses. I do not know the requirements for initiating an environmental impact study, 
but wouldn't it be wise to do the study before the city agrees to sell the land? <clears throat> it is my understanding that land for off-reservation casinos is acquired in trust by the Department of the Interior over which an Indian tribe exercises governmental powers. What does that mean? If Indian tribes have governmental powers, what are the powers of the city or the county or the state? Would the city police or county sheriff have powers to intervene at the casino? I had heard that a casino operated by the Mole Lake tribe had been closed. <clears throat> so I went online and read that in 1997, auditors at the Mole Lake Casino were feeling harassed. And later the casino was closed for 23 days because of questions about a monitoring system of slot machines. There are numerous stories online about casinos refusing to pay jackpots for various reasons. I also read several stories about the feds closing tribal casinos for various reasons in 2003, 2004, 2007, 2010, 2011, 2012, in Iowa, Mississippi, California, Kansas, Alabama, and Oklahoma. The stories were unspecific about the length of time the casinos were closed. You may say that's not our problem. But if the feds closed the South Pier Casino, would Sheboygan be stuck with a huge building over which the city would have no control because it's owned by the Sokogon tribe? Does land acquired by an Indian nation remain under their control in perpetuity? Most disturbing, however, is a, is a synopsis of a July 2010 report by a Native American task force that finds gang and drug problems as, as well as money laundering at 21 Wisconsin tribal casinos. The article noted, and I quote, that the Mole Lake, Ho-Chunk, and Potawatomi reservations are not included in the report because they do not have their own police force, Excuse relying me, instead on state or county drug enforcement. Excuse me, Dulcie, would you like your extra minute? Please. Motion to grant the extra minute. <clears throat> Second. We know, of course, that Sheboygan already has drug and gang problems. Would the presence of a casino make the problem worse? Would a casino help or hurt local businesses? Would a casino enhance the quality of life or of our community? What are the facts about the legal action by Wells Fargo Bank claiming default of a $19 million loan to the Sokogon Chippewa community? What do you know about the Sokogon tribe, their financial situation, and how they operate their casinos? There are lots of issues that the council needs to consider before agreeing to sell the land on South Pier for a casino. I hope you will proceed with caution and listen to the concerns of citizens, the business community, and social services agencies, and that you will get all the answers before you enter into negotiations. Thank you. Thank you, Dulcie. Thank you, Dulcie. That's it. That's all for public forum. We will go right into the consent agenda. <coughs> consent agenda 2-1 through 2-15, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, pass all ordinance and substitute ordinances. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Alderman Versi, did you have input? Yes, yes, I'd like to pull 2-9 for a separate vote, please. Okay, we will pull 2-9 for a separate vote. So we will uh, first cover 2-1 through 2-8 and through 2-10 through 2-15. Is there any discussion on those items? There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kopp? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manachek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. Now we will take 2 9 for a separate vote. Under discussion on 2 9. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Cuff? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manachek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Abstain. And Belt? Aye. 11 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries. Reports of officers 31 through 36 to be referred. Resolutions 4 1 to be referred to public protection and safety. 
Uh, resolution 4-2, a resolution authorizing the city attorney to engage the services of special outside legal counsel to represent the Law and Licensing Committee and Common Council with regard to a quasi-judicial hearing regarding the suspension revocation of alcohol beverage license number 2704. Algalo Giro, Efren Martinez agent, and authorizing payment for said services. Law and, um, Alderperson Vanderweel, law and licensing. Right. Yeah. Please. Um, I ask for a suspension of the rules. Second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Is there anybody that requires an explanation or is opposed to the rules being suspended? The rules are suspended. Please continue. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. passage. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Carlson? Aye. Hammon? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Cott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Belt? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 4-3, a resolution authorizing the city attorney to engage the services of special outside legal counsel to represent the Law and Licensing Committee and Common Council with regard to quasi-judicial hearings regarding the suspension revocation of Class B alcohol beverage license number 2275, empty wine glass, the grotto, Class B alcohol beverage license number 2740, Manning's Irish Pub, and Class B alcohol beverage license number 1411 Tommy's Bar and authorizing payment for said services. Alderperson Vanderbilt. Thank you. I ask for a suspension of the rules. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Is there anybody that requires explanation or is opposed to the rules being suspended? The rules are suspended. Please continue. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the rule of put the motion upon its passage under discussion, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I just had a question on Manny's, Manny's, Manny's Irish Pub, Thomas A. Manning, agent. Uh, isn't, I believe Thomas Manning is deceased. His son. His son. His son? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Very good. Any further discussion? If there is no further discussion, roll call, please. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 4 4, a resolution lifting the hiring freeze in order to hire temporary help Schedule X employees in the city clerk's office up until the November election. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. If there is no discussion, roll call, please. Heideman? Aye. Kott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. Uh, 4.5, a resolution lifting the hiring freeze in order to hire a wastewater electromechanical technician, wastewater maintenance supervisor, <laughs> lead plant operator, maintenance mechanic, and laborer two in the Department of Public Works. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we put the resolution be, uh, excuse me, the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Heideman? Aye. Kott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Abstain. Excuse me? Abstain. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 11 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries, 4-6, a resolution establishing the salary for the positions of building grounds and motor vehicle superintendent and superintendent parks and forestry. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Kahn? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Common? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 4-7, a resolution authorizing executing a one-year lease for the agricultural property in the William A. Heisen Industrial Park will be referred to Public Works. Excuse me. 4.8 will be referred to finance, 4.9 will be referred to finance, and 4.10 will be referred to the City Plan Commission. Reports of committees, 5.1. In RC submitting license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2012 and June 30th, 2013. Recommends that taxi cab operator's license number 9425 be denied upon her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application and her record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderperson Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt under discussion. Is Bonnie Bowman here? She is not here. Please continue. Um, the committee denied her license um, with a vote of five to zero. She has a lot of uh, recent violations and uh, we'd like to see a little bit more time pass before she apply again. Thank you, Alderperson Vanderweel. Any further discussion? If there is no further discussion, roll call, please. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Haman? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. And Kopp? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. <laughs> Uh, five two in RC submitting a communication from oh excuse me that is referred to finance five three in RC is reestablishing the salary schedule for the office of mayor recommends that the subs substitutions of substitutions of general ordinance number four dash forty dash one one dash twelve be passed Alder Minraisler thank you Mr Mayor I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted and I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage, Alderman Boren. I, I think this would probably be the time to do this. I'd like to make a motion to uh, amend that to a salary of $50,000 and increasing the health insurance premiums to 18% uh, of the health insurance premiums to more closely reflect the private sector. Second. second. I'm sorry, who seconded? Okay, we have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Raisler, or I'm sorry, Alder person, Alderman Matichek beeped in first, excuse me. Uh, I move to hold this till after the, uh, the election. Uh, we may have a new mayor, we may, uh, may not. We don't know the direction that the city could be going or perhaps get a better offer by the mayor's office till after the election. Second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to hold this until after tomorrow's election. Under discussion on holding the document, Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I guess just to uh, clarify, this is for the mayor in 2013 elect. So it really doesn't matter what the election has to hold. Because the election, again, no offense to anyone, really won't have anything to do with, with the salary of what's going to happen in 2013. So I guess uh, we've been kind of bouncing it back and forth, and I'll hold my other comments until we get through this part of it. Okay, uh, we have a motion and a second to hold at this time. We'll cover that first. Any further comment on holding? Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I, I understand and everybody in this room understands it's for the, uh, the next election cycle. However, there's people out there that don't seem to understand that there, there seems to be con some confusion. And since there is a recall election going on tomorrow, this has been brought up in campaigning. And I, I just think it's in poor taste to, to go through with this tonight. I don't see a problem with holding this until the next meeting. Because we've already started the process. We've met the statutory, um, statutory guidelines. I don't see the point of voting on this tonight. There's really no need. 
Thank you, Alderman Carlson. Uh, we are on the subject of holding now. Any other comment on holding the document, Alderman Bourne? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I would agree with uh, the alderman that made the comments that this doesn't affect, has, it does, has no effect on the outcome of the election tomorrow. It doesn't go into effect until 2013, so I won't, I won't vote to support the delay it. We've been working on this at the Committee of the Whole at least once, I think a couple times at salary and grievance, and I think it's time to move forward on this. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion on holding the document? We will take a roll call vote on the motion to hold. <clears throat> An I vote would be to hold. Matichek? Aye. Excuse me? Aye. Thank you. Raisler? No. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? No. Versi? No. Belt? No. Boren? No. Carlson? Aye. Haman? No. Heideman? Aye. Koth? No. I'm sorry. No. You kind of <laughs> echoed a little. <laughs> Ann Kittleson. No. Three eyes, nine no's. Okay, motion fails to hold. Um, we have a motion by Alderman Bourne to, to set the salary at $50,000 and set the benefits at 18%. Under discussion on that issue, Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, after much debate on salaries and grievance, and also in the uh, committee of the whole, I think the consensus was 60,000 uh, with the increases and keeping the uh, health insurance aligned with everyone else. Uh, whether it's an elected official, whether it's the city attorney, the city clerk, um, or the mayor, I think we need to at least keep it in line with what um, some of the others are. And I think uh, the discussion we had is that up until this point that the city attorney and, and all the elected officials have actually met the increases that the um, exempt employees uh, met as well and, and trying to keep everything fair. So uh, I, I think I'd, I would support the original motion that was uh, passed at 60,000 uh, and keeping the uh, insurance and such consistent with the other city employees or at least the management. Thank you, Alderman Raisler. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I, I agree with some of the things he just said. Uh, I, I support keeping uh, the benefits in line with the city employees. I, I don't think that we need to have three different structures or even more, more so with the, all the other contracts that we have. I'm going to vote against the 50 and the 60. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Carlson. Alderman Board. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the reason why I can't support $60,000 is because way back with, with the committee that we had that's, that uh, worked on the city administrator, I believe Alderman Vanderwilly and Alderman Heideman uh, served on that committee was for that committee's decision was to go to a city administrator and now we have a chief administrative officer and we're going in a later document we're going to be voting on that also a 7% increase in salary and I believe that committee originally recommended going to a uh, city administrator pay that city administrator what the market would bear at that time to get a qualified city administrator and also make the mayor's position a part-time position with it, and that would entail a drastic reduction in salary. I brought in a uh, resolution along with a couple of aldermen to change the mayor's position to half-time. That did not pass at either the committee of the whole or I believe at the council. So if we're going to stay with a uh, full-time mayor, I believe a 50 $50,000 salary uh, is more than reasonable for the reduced duties that the future mayors are going to have in the community. Uh, you know, they're not, they're not supervising any department heads anymore. Uh, and that was a, just a, a, was a great part of the, of the original salary. So uh, I'm going to have difficulty supporting uh, the increase for Mr. O Mr. Omodio when we get to that, and I'm going to have even more trouble supporting that if the salary for the mayor is not reduced to $50,000. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further comment? What we are dealing with right now is the amendment to the original resolution to reduce the salary to $50,000 and have 18% uh, pay in on health insurance. Any further comment on that? If there is no further comment on the amendment, we will take a roll call and I vote would be to amend. Raisler? No. Van Akron? Aye. 
Excuse me. Aye. Vanderweel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vanderweel. No. Versi. Aye. Belt. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. No. Hammond. No. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. No. Kittleson. No. Matichak. No. Five eyes, seven noes. Motion fails. We're back to the ori original resolution um, as written. Alderman Boren. Thank you. I will make a motion, another motion then to uh, uh, amend it to $55,000 with $18,000 for health insurance benefits. 18,000? I'm 18%. sorry, 18%. I like 18,000. Second. We have a motion and a second to uh, amend again to $55,000 and 18% of health insurance. We have a motion and a second under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please, on the amendment. Hold on just a second. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel? No. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? No. Hammond? No. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? No. Kittleson? No. Manachek? No. Raisler? No. Five eyes, seven noes. Motion fails. We're again back to the original resolution, unamended. Any comment on the original resolution? If there is no discussion, we will take a roll call on the original resolution. Okay, this is actually a subs of a substitute ordinance. A okay. As written, the as subs written. to the... Substitute ordinance. Sub the substitute to the substitute ordinance, under right. discussion. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I just want the council members to be aware what they're voting on with a $60,000 salary. It is not only the $60,000 salary, it's 12% of the health insurance uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the mayor is going to pay 88%. I'm sorry, the mayor is going to pay 12%. The taxpayers are going to pay 88%. That amounts to $18,283.58. The taxpayers are also going to be paying 6.65% 6, 6 of the Wisconsin Retirement Fund of $3,990 for a grand total of $82,273.58. So we're not just taking into consideration the salary. You've also got to take into consideration the benefit package. And again, the $60,000, I can't begin to support that, but this benefit package for essentially a job that has much, much reduced responsibilities, it's ridiculous to be paying a total package of 82000 Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further comment, Alderman Raisler? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Again, I'll go back to um, the other managers we have, the other elected officials. I think it's only fair that the mayor be treated just like everyone else. Um, the same is true with their uh, salaries and benefits as well. So I don't think it's anything that we don't already know. Thank you, Alderman Raisler. Any further comment? If there is no further discussion, roll call, please. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Belt? No. Boren? No. Carlson? No. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? No. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? No. Raisler? Aye. And Van Akron? Aye. Well, this is a little difficult. We have a tie. Well, <laughs> I can legally vote on this, seeing as it does not affect the present mayor's position. Chair votes no. Motion fails. Ordinance is introduced, 6-1, in ordinance repealing and recreating sections 1064 and 10112 of the municipal code relating to closing times at licensed Hmm? We actually have to have this document. We have to have a salary set for the mayor. <laughs> yeah. 
So we need to go back and try to address it again if we could with a different motion. Okay, we have Alderman Boren beeped in first. Thank you, uh, Mayor. I would ask for reconsideration of the vote and going back to the $55,000, and uh, I will leave it at that, just the $55,000 salary and leaving the benefit structure the same as to uh, health, and, health and dental insurance benefits to mirror the citywide non-represented employees. Maybe that'll help to get passage. The tie vote was on the 60. Does that need to be reconsidered, or what's yeah. the rule, Steve? Yes. Uh, You'd have to reconsider the vote or the, uh, the motion on the $60,000. All right. Well, I'll, I'll move that we reconsider the vote. Okay. Uh, you have to have been on the opposite side on yep. the He was. Mm -hmm. okay, well, he was, so. <laughs> Jim, you want to move to reconsider the vote? Not to reconsider the 60. But then we can amend. We can? Yeah. yeah. You move to do it. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll move. It. I'll move. Uh, I'll move to reconsider the 60. Second. We have a motion and a second to reconsider the vote on the 60,000 under discussion on reconsideration of the 60,000. Is that appropriate for me to make the motion then, Steve, now, or do we no, have we to? Need to we you need to vote, vote on the reconsideration. Do we have to vote on the reconsideration itself? Yes. yes. Okay. All in favor? of reconsidering say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, let's do a roll call vote on the reconsideration. Right now we have, okay, we will do a roll call vote and I vote would be to have the right to reconsider the vote and vote again on the 60. Okay. Roll call please. Versi. Aye. Belt. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kopp? Aye. Kittleson? No. Matichuk? No. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Ten eyes, two, I'm sorry, ten eyes, two no's. Okay, motion carries for reconsideration on the 60 under discussion on voting again on the $60,000. Alderman Boren. I have no, no discussion on that except I want to make my motion when it's appropriate. I believe Is it first. Appropriate? We... Is it appropriate now, Steve? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, set the mayor's salary starting in April of 13 at $55,000 and leave the benefit package as recommended in the resolution health and dental benef insurance benefits to mere citywide non represented employee benefits. Second. So we have a motion now at 55,000 and to allow the benefit package to remain in line with the rest of city employees. Under discussion on that. Your Honor, if I could. Steve. Uh, just to clarify, Alderman Bourne, uh, are you, is your motion to set it at 55,000 for each year of the four year term or is it to, uh, to Sort of mirror be a, the existing one, two and a half percent increases. Two and a half, yeah. Thank, thank you, Attorney McLean. That would be that would include the two point five percent increase uh, for fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Under discussion. If there is no discussion. Roll call, please. Hang on. Okay, Belt. Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? No. Hammond? No. Heidemann? No. Cott? No. Kittleson? No. Matichuk? Nope. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Once again, we have a tie. <clears throat> Chair votes no. Motion fails. Where are we at now, Steve? Um, I think the. Uh, Alder Person Koth, did you have a yes, comment? Yes, thank you, Mayor Ryan. Please. going to have to look at it and discuss it in committee again and try to come back. Get it back in time. 
We're, we're missing three aldermen. Is there a possibility we can hold this until the next council meeting? No. No. This could be held till the next council meeting because it does not have to be voted upon until. Correct. Right. The, the south. We could hold the original sixty. You can hold the hold the original document until the yeah. next council meeting. Yeah, I believe really that was Alderman Matichek's motion to at the beginning. That motion was just to amend the document, and that failed. So you didn't vote on the motion as amend or the document as amended. So okay. Uh, so you could refer the document right. back to committee. Alderman Raisler. Just hold it. Yeah, I'm going to make a motion to hold it until the next council meeting, the original 60 that we voted to bring back up. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to hold the document under discussion on holding. If there is no discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Document is held. <laughs> Moving on. Ordinances introduced, 6.1. An ordinance repealing and recreating sections 1064 and 10112 of the municipal code relating to closing times at licensed establishments so as to align city closing hours with the provisions of state law. Alderperson Vanderwill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I ask that the rules be suspended. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules under discussion on suspension. Is there anybody opposed to suspending or requires an explanation? Rules are suspended. Please continue. I move that the, res or the report committee be accepted and adopted and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. If there is no discussion, roll call please. Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichek. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. And Versi. Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 6.2 lies over. 6.3 will be referred to public protection and safety. 6.4 will be referred to public protection and safety. Number seven. Matters laid over. 7.1, a resolution authorizing executing a one-year lease for the agricultural property in the town of Wilson, formerly owned by John Poth, Jr. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion uh, to uh, pass the resolution. Second. Motion to second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. If there's no discussion, roll call, please. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. And Belt? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 7.2, an ordinance establishing the salary for the chief administrative officer. Alderman Raisler. Mr. Mayor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. If there is no discussion, roll call, please. Carlson. Aye. Hammond? No. Heidemann? No. Koth? No. Kittleson? No. Matichak? No. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? No. Versi? No. Belt? No. And Boren? No. Two ayes, ten no. Motion fails. Other matters authorized by law, Attorney McLean? labeled as resolution number 150-11-12 authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement with Unison Solutions Inc. Dubuque, Iowa for the purchase of a capstone turbine factory protection plan and user agreement for the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, this will be referred I take it to public to public works public works. 
That's all? That's it. Okay, we need to uh, have a motion to go into closed session. We will be going into closed session and will not be returning to television. So uh, we will take a, we need a motion and a vote to go into closed session and then we will be okay. taking a five minute break to get our televisions off and first. clear the council chambers. Do we have a motion and a second. All in favor of closed session, vote aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, we need a roll call for that. Yep. Excuse me, everybody hold your horses. We need a roll call. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 12 ayes. We are in closed session. Everybody who uh, does not belong, please clear the council chambers. We will take five. I got witnesses.